Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups Fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo Group Now, in the Affinity Designer and Photo Group Bill maybe added a video which showed how to make a sort of very fine selection of this tree because it would be very difficult to select this normally um, by using the channels. Now, I don't know qu quite where he, um, he got this video from, but there is, as far as I can see, there is no sort of link, web address link, or even a link to credit whoever it is made it, so I can't really credit the person who made it. But looking at the video and at the menus and buttons and what have you it looks like it was made in Italian and there is no soundtrack not that I understand Italian either but there is no soundtrack to, or even pop-up arrows and diagrams to show you what is going on you just have to follow the cursor and what is happening and the chap or woman does it very quickly so it does make it very hard to follow what it is they've done and how they've done it um, so what I have done is I've been watching it pausing it and writing down what they've done and hopefully I can make this into um, a more understandable tutorial not that this is a bad tutorial but it's just a bit too quick for the likes of me who's not very good at this sort of thing um, so I'm guessing the whole point of this would have been to erase the sky and put in a new sky I mean that's not meant or sort of shown in this video um, all it does is just shows you him deleting the sky in and around the tree um, and I scoot this along up here you can see he only sort of really deletes this area around the tree here, not the rest of it. But I'm guessing if he was doing this properly, he would have carried on and deleted the whole of the sky. So I don't have access, obviously, to the image that that, that person had. Um, so I have found this image, similar image of this tree here, um, which I got from pixabay.com and I will add a link to that to the description um, so you can use your own image or you can use this to practice with and I am going to sort of change the sky I'm going to use this image here which has some birds flying in a sort of an evening sky um, a bit more dramatic um, again this was from Pixabay and I will add this uh, link to the description now I do know that this image of the sky really wouldn't really fit in with this sort of more daytime image of the tree but hopefully it's a, just a way of demonstrating how effective this sort of process can be um, you could then alter the the colors and the, the lighting of the bottom half to match the sky but I'm not going to go into that as a whole different tutorial so I've opened up my image and the thing to do is to select the channels panel um, by default I think it normally starts on the navigator channel uh, panel if you click on the channels panel then you will have these four composite red composite green blue and alpha now what you want to do is to turn off the visibility of the red, green and alpha so this is just this eye icon here so you just click on that to turn off the visibility of the red the green and the alpha leaving you with just this black and white image which is just the composite blue level so then you come to the adjustments panel up here and select levels now I'm going to use the same settings as the chap did in 
the, the Italian video. Um, it may vary from picture to picture, but I'm assuming that this will be pretty much okay for most images. And what he did, he moved the black level up to 12%, and he moved the white level down to 60%. Yeah, and then just press the X to close that panel and then come back to the layers panel where you have the levels adjustment layer above the background image layer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click, left click and hold this adjustment and drag it down into the background layer to make it a, a child of that background so I just drag it down until you get that sort of blue line appearing and then release the button and then that adjustment will be part of the background layer now what you want to do now is to click on the background layer so you're selecting all of the parts of that layer and then come to the blue channel that you have visible right click on that and click on load to pixel selection and you should have all these marching ants here sort of of where the selections are being made so the next thing we want to do is go for the eraser tool or brush you can just press E on the keyboard or it is this icon here and you want the opacity, the flow, and the hardness all at 100%, and the brush size somewhere around the 350 or slightly above um, in size. And then, once you have all those settings, you just need to start going over the tree and as you're doing this, if you can, you can do it all in one motion, or you can just do it in small steps like I'm doing this. But as you hopefully you can see this on the composite alpha channel, which was a solid white, that is slowly starting to uh, sort of repeat what you are seeing up here with the deleting that I'm doing. Now I'm not going to come down too close to the horizon just yet but I'm just going to take out all of this sky area up here like so. and I will go over a little bit of these bushes down here right now I would advise that you go over this tree area quite a few times because you can't really see in the naked eye what is being selected and what's not and what is being erased and what is not. So err on the side of caution and go over it quite a few times. I'll, I'll leave it at that and then I'll just sort of tidy up. I'm not going to come really close to the horizon over here. That I can, you can select a bit better later on but I will come as close as I dare just to grab these 
few branches down here. In fact, now if I was going to do this properly, I wouldn't really. I'd come down this close to the horizon. I would probably select this last little bit in a normal mode where you can actually see better what it is you're selecting. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to come as close to the horizon as I can. There we go. All right. I think that's everything. So as you can see, this composite alpha now, there's quite a lot of black showing, like I have up here. Right. So now that I have done all that you can come to the select menu and come down to deselect or you can just press ctrl and d on the keyboard and that will remove the sort of margin ends effect and then all you need to do is to click on the levels adjustment icon and then right click on that and delete it and then make all the various composite channels visible so we've now got the tree selected here and um, I mean cut out and the foreground left so what I'm going to do now is get this bird image do se select all, edit, copy, come back to this image, and then edit, paste, and then I'm just going to click and drag this below the background, so it is behind the tree, um, come to the move tool, and then I can move this to wherever I want and hopefully you can see as I'm moving it around those trees are uh, the birds are visible through the branches of the trees so I'm going to put that about there I think and as you can see I mean there's a bit of the horizon that there that would need to be just taken out and probably a bit over there but like I said I would have if I was doing this properly I would have selected that slightly differently that area there and there just so they merged a bit better like I said I freely admit that this sky doesn't really go with this foreground but it does show how that tree has been selected quite well and you can see all the in between the branches and gaps so hopefully that explains the whole process for you and I'm hoping I've converted it correctly. So thank you for watching and goodbye.